Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Uh, next up for today I'm going to give you a look at the 501st Stormtrooper. Vader's Fist Stormtrooper. Which was first um, available to visitors at the San Diego Comic Con in 2006. But uh, shortly after that it was made available through the Hasbro Toy Shop and then later to other stores and I managed to pick this up from Toys R Us as you can see very very nice looking figure here's one out of the box I did pick a couple of these guys up so I could open a few and keep one in the box as you can see comes with a figure a display stand and a flag the flag is removable from the base and uh, it can hold it and obviously the figure is removable from this display stand as well the figure itself is just a slight repaint of a vintage original trilogy collection stormtrooper the only major difference is the little logo on the chest armor just there which is the imperial signia with 501st legion across the top with it being a repaint of uh, the vintage OTC Stormtrooper he's pretty much articulated as you can get he's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, a ball hinged torso swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles and of course comes with the standard E11 Stormtrooper blaster Got the working ulster on the batch there. And overall is a very nice looking figure. I've got a few of these now on display on my Imperial shelf, as you may have seen in my last collection update. As you can see the flag is very nice as well. Uh, if you just bear with me a sec while I take this out of the uh, clamshell. An interesting thing about the packaging on this figure is that if you see the little photograph in the back you can take out this photo and place a picture of yourself in there to make it look like you are a member of the 501st which is pretty cool these figures were designed especially for the uh, 501st the real life 501st you know the charity fundraisers they, these figures were made especially for them so I guess that's why they decided to include the removable, sorry replaceable photo feature to the packaging and treated from the back says the very name of the fighting 501st inspires fear across the galaxy these elite troopers, the very best and brightest, cull from the imperial legions serve Lord Vader in all things they are the first on the ground in any important imperial offensive and the thunder of their boots is a harbinger, a harbinger sorry of the doom that awaits those who would stand against the Empire. So definitely a recommended figure to pick yourself up. And if you can find a few of these then I uh, highly recommend you pick up more than one and build a decent sized army of them. One of the best things about this figure as well is it only cost me the same price as a standard basic figure. It was $5.99. And uh, I have seen these figures online and in other stores at a much uh, higher price than that. So it was really nice to pick up a few of these at a standard price. So I've been joining my look at the Vader's Fist 501st Stormtrooper. And I'll be back next to do the uh, Commander Keller and Galactic Marine comic pack, which is a review that has been long overdue. So, if you enjoyed another look at this figure, and until my next review, keep collecting and may the force be with you.